Hello guys, welcome to Octocoder. Today I'll guide you through connecting to MongoDB Atlas. We'll tackle common database connectivity issues and learn to create, configure and secure your Atlas database from scratch. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to connect MongoDB database on Atlas. Lot of people have database connectivity problem but don't worry, in this video all your doubts will be solved. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have the skills to seamlessly connect to MongoDB on Atlas and supercharge your project. So let's not waste the time. Let's dive in. Here we have established a connection to our MongoDB database using MongoDB Compass. Now I am going to guide you through an alternative route connecting to MongoDB Atlas. MongoDB Atlas is a cloud-based database service that offers flexibility, scalability and convenience. Let's dive into the steps to connect to MongoDB Atlas. So let's search on Google MongoDB and here you'll get first link mongodb.com. Open this link and you'll see interface of MongoDB homepage like this. Here in the right corner, click on sign in option. If you haven't created your account, then create new account by clicking on sign up options or you can use your Google sign in. Okay. And if you have already account, then log in it. After logging in on MongoDB, you will redirect to your previous created database like I have created Okta database. So it open here. Don't worry, I'll show you all step by step from creating new database and cluster, how to create the Atlas database URL, password, how to generate that all you'll learn from scratch now. Okay, so let's create new database. How to create that? If you click on the your username here in this blue color name like Octocoder. Here, click it or you can click on this drop down option and click Octocoder Atlas here. Then you will get all previously created project list here. These are I created before. So now let's create new project by clicking on this right corner new project button. Then give your project name here. So let's give restaurant DB and click on next button. Then here you can add members if you want. Okay. Then click on create project. Here we created database but we are not assigned it to get our database so here we need to create deployment. Basically we need to choose our cloud provider so let's click on create. Then here you will get paid options and one free option if you want to buy you can otherwise use this free option. Select this free option and below you can choose provider whoever you want AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So I'll choose AWS, then you can select region, so I'm from India, so I'll select option Asia, Mumbai. You can write cluster name here, if you don't want, then keep it as it is. You can write tags also, but this is an option, so I'll leave it that and click on create button. So it will navigate to security quick start page, here you can set your username and password, okay. So let's give username octacoder. Password you can write your own or you can click here auto generated secure password. It will create 16 character secure password something like this. Note down that password or save in notepad. Okay. Then click on this create user and below here you can select my local environment or cloud environment. Okay. I'll select my local environment. Then you need to add your IP address. So I'll add by clicking on this add my current IP address. It will add my IP address. I'll blur this. I don't want to show my IP address. Okay. Then click finish and close. And congratulations on setting up access rules. Click on go to overview. So here we don't have any clusters yet. You can add data from here. Okay. So first let's connect cluster to our application by clicking on this connect button. Here you can select options if you want to access on compass. Then select this compass or shell or MongoDB for VS code. Any of these you can select. I'll select this driver option and you'll get all information here, installation command. But here we just want this string, this database URL. It have our user name in this URL and cluster name here. So copy this URL and close this. And let's open our project in VS Code. 
open.env file because this is database URL and we have created environmental variable for our port and database URL. Here we have given MongoDB database URL. So for now let's comment on this by giving hashtag .env file commented by hashtag. Okay. And let's create new variable name atlas underscore url equal to and paste the url we just copied from atlas and here in the password remove that and paste our auto generated 16 character password we have saved in notepad earlier okay let's take this password and paste it here save this file please don't use my password for your project by the time you watch this video this database won't even exist so create your own password and use it okay now open our app.js file and here in the db url process.env dot this db url remove this and give atlas underscore url variable here and save it and let's run project now open terminal node app.js and there you go app is listening on port 880 and successfully connected to database on atlas congratulations now you know both ways how to connect database on mongodb compass and mongodb atlas Say goodbye to those database connectivity issues because you have just learned how to connect to MongoDB on Atlas from the ground up. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Octocoder YouTube channel for more valuable content. Thank you for watching.